Now we can do a deep cleaning, see what she needs on repairs. I know the trailer and the axle is going to need some work. I was kind of wondering. Also, I'm going to do some fiberglass. The concrete keel is showing there. Uh, let's see, the eye hook is sticking out a little bit there. And uh, probably hard to tell here, but we were kind of concerned that that wheel was crooked. But we made it. Rusting anchor. Probably go bye bye. So, yeah. Well, the biggest thing was just getting it here. Gotta pop the motor off, put it into the smoke shack. And then uh, over the next couple weeks, go through, clean out the cabin, and just give her a good deep cleaning. And a wax compounding. And then uh, we'll go from there, one step at a time. I got until July 22nd to have her seaworthy. Mm. That's when the Barnegat Bay Bass 2023 is taking place. All right, taking some time. I want to get this boat cleaned out. Took the rusty anchor off. Got the sails out. And uh, so I just want to get things drying out. It's a little wet under here. Dampness there. Uh, this is what it looks like in here. I'm going to try to crawl in. Wish me luck. Coming in. Oh, watch me. I'm gonna get hurt for sure. Uh, I might be getting too old for this. Uh, oh, that fine smell you found. Here's the inside. Got some flares. Got electrical stuff to be put on. Kazoo. Uh, oh, here's my little cow looks like I see a puddle there so definitely that front hatch that I just opened up leaked and so pretty much how my first compact was the cap for the concrete was gone and there's water sitting in here so I think that plywood hatch Marty was using wasn't in too good a shape um, but that's fine. That's why you buy an old boat. And it's not that expensive. And then you could do some work on it. You know, the sides look like these have been painted recently. The inside here, nice and bright. Plywood needs a little work. That's why I got rid of those cushions. I'm going to set up a fan. And just every day that it's uh, nice and dry out. Good thing. I think I'm going to get some rags and try to sop up that water that's in there. So that's not good. Right? Right. Hey, is this a familiar, familiar, familiar sight? Me inside a boat? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Here I am again. I never thought this would happen. I'm inside a boat. So I'm glad I cleaned it out. It's a little damp in here. Um, so I want to get everything out of here that doesn't need to be in here. Set up my fan. Got some puddles. Uh, so I can see already once it dries out in here, I'm going to want to clean up the top of this keel. I can see all the concrete. Uh, and I got a feeling once I get in here, some of this plywood for the bunks is going to be a little warped and rotten. I see a kind of a little warp where I'm laying now. Other than that, the inside... You know, the walls look good. It's just the bunks are kind of... The bunks are kind of funk. Mm-hmm. So, but that's the fun. An old boat. Fix her up. Right? Um, my old... Uh, when I had my first Compact 16, it was a 1976. I had to re-glass the whole cabin top. This actually sounds nice and solid. I just got to get the puddles out of here. All right. There's your first look at the inside. Woohoo! This thing feels.
still sinking. Water logged. Oof. Yeah. As you can see, my last boat. So this all needs to get all cleaned up. It's all damp, so I don't know how long Marty had water getting in here. But no worries. We'll clean all this gravel up. Let it dry out real nice and good. Then we'll kind of, uh, I think last time I came in, got cement, skin coated it smooth, and then capped it with glass. But I can see there's a nice warp in this plywood here, so I don't know, I might be rebuilding the bunks too. But it's a little project boat to teach my granddaughter how to sail, so I'd like to have it in the water for late July for the bash, but we'll see. If not, I got at least till next summer before the granddaughter's gonna come out on it. So, all right. All right, so this is what's his setup for the bilge pump. Interesting setup, old chair legs. All right, I'm just gonna get all these wires disconnected because, oops, there's water in there. Mm -hmm. That water is on the wrong side of the hole. So, shut you down for a second. I got the GoPro so I can actually get you a little more of a wide angle shot. So, we're gonna have to replace I mean, the bolt eye is fine. This is like the same thing that I had on the 23 is, is backing. As I said before, crunchies, crunchies. So the, that backing block is shot. So, and it's like the nuts, it's like the eye bolt is stainless, but the nuts and washers aren't. Kind of strange. So that's not a problem. I know how to do that. Like I said, everything seems kind of solid up here. I'm just gonna nice sunny day, get the fan going. And uh, there's also some water up on that other side. I don't like how this is all warped. Um, other than that, but it dried out and then get all this crunchies out of here. And then, uh, here, let's see. Oh. Uh, everything is, I thought this plywood is damp. That board don't seem too bad. It's more of the plywood's warped. Maybe once things dry out, I can just screw things back down. And, uh, Hmm. <laughs> All right, we'll get her dried out. I figured I'd bring the GoPro down here. I can give you a little better, a little better shot than with my iPhone. Uh. Mm hmm. We can do it. We can do it. All right. I'm gonna go set this fan back up. Finish throwing this stuff out of the cockpit, and I'm gonna go lay the sails out. Uh, I'm afraid they're a little damp as well. All right. Reminds me, of, reminds me of the 23 when I just was pulling out all the garbage. These hatch boards are actually pretty good. These are the ones I'm going to put back on it so that that piece of plywood dry out a little bit all right 
got the fan going and uh let's see let's do this Like that and just blow across that. All right. The Admiral. We're multitasking. I got her prepping my seedling trays with soil while I mess with the boat. <laughs> New deck, perfect for laying out sails. This is a um, three quarter fractional rig head sail. And it's, as you can tell, it's Hank on, old school. Been a crinkled up. The boat hasn't been sailed since before COVID. Uh, what kind of hook is that, Marty? Mm. All right, let's get to the head sail. I'm not the head sail, the main sail. Ooh. So. Oh, what's what's coming out of there? Sand? This I could feel is a little damp. Number 1633. When I seen that stuff come out, that's just uh, corroded aluminum. But I should be able to just re pop rivet this together, clean it up a little bit. The Admiral's helping. So, he's got two head sails I find interesting. This probably was the original and that's a new one. That's why that one's so, that's why that blue one's so nice and crispy. The old Hank on, no roller furling. What is this? These parts Marty has on here cracking me up. This rusty galvanized. <laughs> Cute little sails. Yeah, let them dry out for a while. Yeah, the main sail is one that was really damp.